Hey everyone, it's Megan with part 3 of the Live 2D, Live 2D tutorial series, messing up already. Um, so I'm going to walk you through how I do my head. So the head deformer, as you can see, is covering the head and neck because those are the parts that are inside this deformer. So what you want to do is go to angle X, make three points, one at the start, middle and end, click OK, and do the same for angle Y. And these will be the points of looking um, up, down, right, left, and then your center pose. So if we go to angle X first, um, this is looking to the left, middle, and right. So we want to drag our little circle to the right and just drag the box to the right. It's really simple, um, simple stuff. So if we just drag it to the right and then we can use the little dots on the mesh to pull them about and just fit them nicely so there's not a weird gap from the neck and body. So then uh, we can drag it back and see how that works and drag it all the way to the left point and again we'll just drag our box to the left and obviously the other parts of the face like the eyes, mouth, nose, ears etc they're not a part of this deformer which is why they're not getting moved at this moment in time and that's because you want to assign them their own deformers and then edit the X and Y angles of each one of those because sometimes you need to warp them slightly so it's best to have their own deformers for that. Right so once you're happy with that we can then go in and drag the little dots which are on the mesh to the right as well and what this does is makes it look more um, realistically 3D as the actual face is curving as the cat looks round like a 3D object does. So I'm then going to do the same for the left side looking and you don't want to do it too much, just subtle subtle nudges because sometimes if you do it too much it warps the mesh too weirdly and you gotta you gotta sort that out. So then we can go on to the angle Y and this is looking up and down. So I've dragged it all the way to the end and this is gonna be my point of looking up. So I'm just gonna drag it upwards. Again, grabbing that little middle dot and pulling up. And then we're going to do the same for looking down. Cool, so once you're happy with that, we can then go to the angle X. If you go to the left here, a little blue box will appear. Click on that and this joins the angle X and the angle Y together. So you have this nine grid layout. And the best way I can describe it is the, the four corners of the box are now going to be the diagonal positions of the face. So then you just want to do the same thing that we've been doing with looking to the left and the right, with looking left but also up. So just diagonal positions. And then once you've got all of those done, you can see that if we drag our little red dot anywhere in this grid, the cat will move accordingly. And so what you want to do is just keep refining it until you have something that you're happy with and flows naturally. So the next step will be repeating this process with the angle X and angle Y on all of the other deformers that we have for our face. And to create those deformers, you just do the same thing that we've been doing so far. By creating the deformer, making sure it covers the parts you need to deform and then parroting those parts to the deformer. 
So, for instance, I have a right eye deformer and a left eye deformer, which carries all of the parts for the left eye and right eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So things like the eyes, nose, mouth, chin, ears, you want to do the same process with the angle X and angle Y and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we are, I've set up all of my deformers to have the angle X and angle Y. So then if I go over into onto the parameter, you can see I've got all my nice green dots. I'll just move it around and as you can see, all of the parts move. It does look a little bit freaky right now, that's because I haven't um, fine tuned it. The eyes definitely need some work. Um, but yeah, it's just showing you the general gist of it. You can see looking up, looking down, and then moving all around. Wahee. So yeah, um, once you've got this far, it's then a process of fine tuning all of your parts, making sure that they look right when they are deformed. But that's the basics of how I go about making the heads of my models move. Um, refining it is the part that takes the longest, um, so this will be my life for the next hour or so. That's my cat. <laughs> uh, see you next time.